everybody, it's your boy Marcus Norman from Gentleman Style Podcast, your host to the mo- podcast with the most, the number one podcast coming to you live in America. And today, you all are in for an absolute treat. We have the fantabulous, the amazing. Well, stay tuned. You won't want to miss this. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody, it's your boy Marcus Norman from Gentleman Style Podcast, your host of the number one podcast coming to you live in America. And today we have Mr. Ryan Rieger. He's a passionate helper and man of God, family man, Christian man, and above all else, passive teacher, educator, and an author. This man has a heart of gold. Mr. Ryan is passionate about helping people create multiple streams of income so they can live their dreams out and live their best life possible. In his book, Streams of Income, available on Audible and Amazon, Mr. Ryan unpacks the three main online business models that help the reader determine which might be the best fit. Mr. Ryan is also um, a family man, like I said. He resides all the way in South Lake, Texas, and he's on the show today to give back, to share, and to help us get to a better place. So help me welcome Mr. Ryan Rieger coming to the stage. Yeah, <laughs> Marcus, that was by far the best podcast interview ever. <laughs> I love your intro and the music and everything. Yeah, everything. Goodness, I need to start using StreamYard. <laughs> I love StreamYard. StreamYard um helps me um grow and it helps me engage and it helps me animate. Right? It helps me bring the visuals to life. I'm a people are visual yeah, learners, yeah. and so um thank you. For Thank you for coming to the stage. This is major. We have a celebrity, y'all. I get so excited. I get the shakes. Um, but thank you, Mr. Rand. Thank you for coming to the show. I appreciate you, sir. My pleasure. Happy to be on here, and it's my honor to be on. Thanks for asking me. So I'm glad, glad to do it. And we have a man here in the audience, Mr. Brandon Neely, the man. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Catch you live on YouTube. You're awesome. And also, y'all, I just want to point out one quick thing. We have a VIP sponsor to the channel, Miss Erica Nicole Holmes. She's a sponsor of the channel. So thank you. We appreciate our sponsors and our loyalty sponsors who dedicate the show. So jumping in, Mr. Ryan, tell us, uh, what is your story? You, your, your resume is extensive, sir. What's, <laughs> what started you in the path to financial literacy and, and, what, and what you do and give yeah, back to, yeah. to, to everyone? Well, it starts with my business journey, probably Um, wasn't financial literate at first, (laughs) by far from it. Um, So I'm I'm originally from Indiana, uh, born and raised there. I I was a political background and moved to Texas in 2008. Uh, I've always been had an idea. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur, Uh, sold things as a kid uh, to schoolmates um sold gi joes that i bought off of hasbro sold those on ebay back in like 2002 or three um started following a a guy who's now my really good friend his name is jim cockram got his book called silent sales machine and that started me on the the journey of uh, being an entrepreneur i always knew i wanted to be an entrepreneur and have my own business work for myself and that opportunity really didn't kind of uh, present itself on a full scale until i moved here to texas i didn't know we had lost a political i was the campaign manager for a campaign in southern indiana we lost that race so i knew two things were happening i was certain about two things in my life as i was going to get married and move here to texas my wife's from here so we, um, we, she and Marcus, feel free to jump in anytime. I, I want this to serve your audience and be about what you feel like you know your audience better than I do. So feel free to jump in and interject and ask questions that are, you know, what you know that they're going to want to hear. But we um, moved to Texas and uh, my mother-in-law had started and my mother-in-law and wife had started a furniture business. They were selling wholesale furniture on Craigslist. They were buying it wholesale, selling it on Craigslist here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. So when I moved here, I saw what they were doing and I thought, you know what, this is an opportunity. I don't have a job. I'm looking for one. My wife said, um, I told her I would love to make this business full time, this you know, the Craigslist furniture thing. And she says, no, you need to go get a job. And so <laughs> I agreed to look for a job at the same time as posting ads on Craigslist. 
truth be told, I was spending way more time posting ads on Craigslist because I saw this as my opportunity not to have to go get a regular job. And so uh, this was in November 2008, started doing that. Um, in 2009, the, the Lord really blessed this enterprise pretty quickly. Melaine got on, that's my wife's name. She got on the board and, and saw what was happening and started, she was helping me out big time posting ads. So we did $250,000, um, worth of furniture sales in Dallas, Fort Worth, just in Dallas, Fort Worth, just on Craigslist in 2009. But I was physically driving. We'd post the ads. She was doing a lot of that. I'd physically drive to the, that wholesale warehouse, pick up the furniture, deliver it to folks all over the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. A lot of the times people would pick up from our house. Um, I loved it because I was not at a regular job. I could work the hours I wanted to. I was working my rear off, but I was having fun because I was able to do what I wanted to do. I'd love to eat so I could go visit a local taco shop on, in, in between deliveries or, um, but just having a blast. And uh, we uh, fast forward to where we are today, we um, had a store for a year, hated that because we couldn't work at home from our pajamas anymore. Uh, we uh, then got onto eBay, Amazon, and started shipping furniture all over the country. Um, and then uh, started selling mo smaller items on Amazon through their fulfillment by Amazon program, FBA, and phased out furniture over a few year period. And so we haven't sold furniture for about five or six years now. Um, our business just keeps pivoting and changing. And I really f found my love of, which is teaching people. I love taking what I know about the internet and e-commerce and helping people create businesses. Cause there's been so many students of mine now that have quit their jobs. So I've written books, I've got courses out there, uh, regarding, um, starting e-commerce businesses. I have a me several membership communities and it's just so fun to see these success stories. So that's by far by the, far the the best thing the about best thing what about I do what is seeing how the and what they're able, they're able to do. That's huge. That's huge. Multi-talented entrepreneurship in the blood, y'all. In the blood, doing it since diapers. That's what I heard. So, <laughs> so you already mentioned who inspires you and who who you follow in in, in financial, um, the financial industry in the financial space. What is your definition of passive income? Mm -hmm. Well, Marcus, when I first started, there was nothing passive about anything that I did. Um, it was all really hard work, very much active. Um, so for me, I'd say passive income is something that, you know, you can do the either just invest some money in something, maybe in real estate. You've had a lot of really awesome real estate guests on your show where you just say, you know, um, let's invest in a property. Um, and you know, maybe there's a fund that you, you take advantage of and that just money just grows and you're not really have to necessarily be a real estate expert. I know with real estate, there's all different ways to get involved in that and, and in, be an investor. Um, some um, of them are very active, very active, like, uh, you know, as far as flipping houses, that's crazy active or just here's some money in a fund and, you know, let it grow. Uh, so for passive income is either you just, for me personally is, uh, either uh, just putting money into it and it just grows or maybe doing the work one time. And then that continues to bring in money, like maybe a, a book. I've got books that are on Kindle direct publishing that continue to sell every month. One of my first book, Real Wholesale Sources as an Amazon related book. Um, I, I wrote that in 2013. I still get money every month from that. It's not a huge stream of income by any means, but it's um, something I did at once, got a nice boost of income at the beginning, and then it just continues to pay. So uh, either either just handing somebody some money and uh, they it grows without you having to do much at all or anything, or maybe you do the work once like a book or a course um, and then it just continues to pay dividends in the future. That's what I'd say for me. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's huge. That's major. That's several. You named off, you gave us more than what we asked for. That's huge. And so real estate, you know, that's, that's my heart. Right. And the guests that I've had on the show, yes, they've been dynamic. Um, I had a, a CEO, a tech CEO, Miss Erica knows. Um, I had the Lane Kiki, shame on me, Lane Kikiwa, <laughs> Kia Cook. Kiwa <laughs> on the show as well. And he was a dynamic real estate investor, multifaceted across the board. And he's stationed living in Hawaii, running his whole real estate mm -hmm. empire virtually. So yes, thank you for that admonish, man. That was huge. That's major um, to be able to bring all these people to one space. That's what does it for me is, mm -hmm. is bringing people to a space, one platform, one location where everyone can soak up the knowledge and it doesn't cost them a thing. So mm -hmm. that's what does it for me. And that's major. I, I wanted to ask you this. 
do you which if you had to choose right a lesser of two evils would you choose easy money or uh-huh, an uh-huh. easy life oh man i want both um <laughs> I haven't had money. My my money hasn't uh, come easy. But you know what? It comes easier after you start making some money. It seems, you know, you hear the people that are, you know, multimillionaire millionaires say that it's like uh, the first million was the hardest. And then after that, it's easy. Um, I am not at their level. One day I, I pray that I will be. Um, but uh, I, it is, that is the case. The first part of first years of my business were harder. Now it's easier because I'm able to leverage more of what I've already built. So back to your question, I got to take an easy life. Um, I, I, uh, you know, that's, that's why I want money anyway is money for me. It's just a tool. It buys freedom. Um, I haven't had a real job since 2008. I would not take any amount of money. There's just literally no amount of money. Somebody could pay me to go back to a job that I hated or going back to a cubicle. And just like, you know, living for the weekend, that's not a life at all to me. So for me, for me easy easy money, money, that would be that way over. That would be better than easy money, in my opinion. That's huge. That's huge. That's I, that, Give them an applause, y'all. Give them an applause. That's major. That is significant. I choose an easy life all day, every day, any day of the week. Um, because the life, the, the life, you only get one. You can get money. You can make a dollar. You can make plenty of dollars. You can have a room full of dollars. But you only get one life. And so I'm with you. That's right. That's I'm right. totally with you. I want an easy life. And I'm paused. We are going to go to a quick commercial break. We'll be right, right back. You guys stay tuned for the incredible Mr. Ryan Rieger. He is awesome and changing the absolute game. Stay tuned. See you. Good day, podcast listeners. This is your boy, Marcus Norman of Gentleman Style Podcast Show. I wanted to let you guys know that we will be rolling out a new feature and adding a join sponsor button next to the subscriber button here at the bottom of your screen. Once you click the button, it will display three membership levels. Gentleman Gentry, which is our entry level. Duke Duchess, which is our season level and the emperor and empress, which is our most sophisticated level, which you will receive unique perks and benefits at each differing level and gain access to our community tab. We will also be sharing polls, upcoming events, and interviews, as well as receive feedback from our sponsors directly. Your support helps me find new and exciting guests to bring to the stage live. Well, in order to get the higher end speakers, it requires, well, some, you guessed it, money. So thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if becoming a sponsor sounds good to you, then select the join button below and choose your desired sponsor level. Let's continue to grow and serve the future of generations of men and women to come. Love you guys. Bye. Hey y'all, we are back to the Gentleman Style Podcast show. We have Mr. Ryan Rieger, the passive income extraordinaire. Mr. Ryan, thank you for coming to the show. We appreciate you. Thank you, my audience, for tuning in to this very special interview. This is huge. Mr. Ryan, you your book touches on. Can you show us the book? Yeah, sure. Let's, yeah, sure. Can you show us a this is what it looks like. Streams of income, y'all. Clean, crisp, <laughs> available on Amazon. Link is in the chat. Please check it out. Get a copy if you can. Um, if you're not. Um, get a copy in the future. But Mr. Ryan, your book touches on three of the main online business models that can help um, people build a passive income. Mm -hmm. Um, Can you talk about from a 3000 foot view, one of those online business platforms, or maybe you mentioned it earlier, was it the Amazon? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So for um, so for most um, people, I mean, quickly, the there's a the C, the E, and the S. The C is like coaching, consulting, easy, expanding your audience, becoming like an expert in your niche, like what you're doing. You're building an audience, Marcus, and uh, you, it's something you're passionate about, you're, you're skilled at, you're knowledgeable about. Um, that's like creating books, courses, podcasts, all that. And then there's this, the S model, which is selling physical products. I find most people that come to me, um, the easiest place to start and jump in is the S model. Cause literally I could teach anybody how to start making money, you know, probably tomorrow. Like, I mean, literally even today you could find something around your home listed on Facebook marketplace and you have some seed money to start a physical product business. Um, so it doesn't take anything. You literally can start 
a business on Amazon or eBay uh, with zero dollars because we all have stuff sitting around our house uh, that we're not using that somebody else would pay us money for. Uh, and so I would say the physical products is the, the one that we kind of uh, filter most people to because it's easiest to get started and make make money faster and see that quick win. Where, whereas like your podcasting, you know, you've been doing this for a while and, you know, it takes some time to build that up and to build an audience. But, you know, you could go to a garage sale this weekend, find some stuff, flip it on eBay and have some money pretty quickly. That's huge. And that's absolutely true. That's really true. What is your favorite passive income stream? Hmm. Wow. For me, um, gosh, I'd like, there's so many that I, I, I wrote, a, put a list of things that I am involved in that are mo most of them are passive. Some are took some time to get started, like the, the writing the books or the creating a course. Um, I'd say the, the books and the courses because, um, because of the students, my success, the success stories of my students, because when I take some time to, I know this is different than like real estate, like a fund where you just put money in and, um, you know, it makes some money. Uh, so it's, you know, there is some work involved at the beginning for this, but the reason it's my favorite is because the, the benefit and the blessing that I'm able to have on my students where, you know, there's nothing, nothing beats the feeling when somebody sends me an email says, I quit my job today because of the content in your book or your course. Um, uh, that's the biggest thrill. And uh, so for me, it's definitely the content I put out that people take advantage of and, and, you know, they, they work it. It's work. Um, it's passive for me. It, it wasn't passive to be at the beginning, um, you know, taking that time to, you know, create that content, but once it's created, then it kind of, it lives forever. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's huge. That's huge. That's, that's a favorite of mine that I haven't dove into yet is the book um and becoming an author because i i i, I told you before even uh, uh, offline before the show it's like i i don't have anything to talk about i'm not that interesting what would what would i write about but i guess um there's always something right there's always something there's always something oh, we can totally dive into that into that i can jump into that with you <laughs> i mean all these interviews you're doing that's incredible content you could write a book about some of the interviews you've had you could take all of the you know your main of uh, like the, the eight passive income, maybe if you could take passive income and look at like, what are the 10 main passive income buckets? And you could do a, you know, a chapter on each one. And then, you know, then you could pull in pieces from all your podcast guests. This is all incredible content that you are. And it's not even content you had to create. So you're able to curate that essentially and put it in that it would be an awesome book. Like, um, you know, wisdom from all of my podcast guests, um, you know, wouldn't call it that necessarily, but you, you would, you, you have tons of content here that could be put into a book and it would be very easy for somebody to take, you just get it transcribed and then you would just have to go in and kind of organize it. Um, and according to, you know, this chapter is this, this person goes into this chapter you wouldn't use every interview probably, but you probably have, it could go back over all of your podcast episodes and see a theme throughout. Like what I of all of the ones that I've done so far, you know, 80% of them have been about this topic. Well, that's going to be your book. And then you just, you know, use all of their content and that's, you know what, and, and they would be happy to promote it because they're now included in a book. And so it'd be like an honor for me to say, Hey, you know what? I was on a, I was a guest on uh, my friend Marcus Norman's podcast and he's got a book out and I'm included in the book. That's pretty cool. And so all these podcast guests that you've had have audiences. Some have probably thousands some even have hundreds. That's fine. But, you know, they have all have Facebook fan, friends and family that they're going to say, hey, guys, I'm in this new book. It's going to point back to your book and your podcast. And your podcast. And that's going to build your list in the same time. That's true. That's so true. Well, thank you for believing in me. Right. And, and that's what it takes. Right. Mentors. Coach, he's giving me he just gave me a mentorship right here on the show. Y'all, this is that's quick. You see how he did that? You see how he broke my he broke it down to its finest parts. And then he built me back up. And so that's that's significant, right? To come up with something. And I, I never I never would have thought that um to even do that. Or if that would be something people would even desire or want or look yeah. look And that'd be look, easy that'd to be do easy too. To I'd be happy too. to I know you're gonna ask me another question, but I'd be I'd be happy to go that direction for a second if you want me to, how easily that would be to do. Because most people think writing a book, oh my gosh, that's a major thing. And how am I gonna get it published? Well, essentially KDP, Kindle Direct Direct Publishing makes that. It's crazy easy. 
we will we will we'll jump right back into we got one more commercial break y'all we gotta pay some bills we gotta pay some bills we'll be right right back stay tuned stay with us and stay engaged we'll see you guys soon are you a local business looking to offer your customers easy access to cash without having to travel miles we're here to help at Norman Legacy Investments, we provide free ATMs with free installation that provide a suitable investment for your business. Even better, we offer you some profit sharing and handle everything from start to finish. Just reach out to us today to schedule a free consultation. Hey guys, we are back to Gentleman Style Podcast Show. We have the incredible Mr. Ryan Rieger here talking about passive income streams and his and promotion of his new book that is helping us get to a better place financially. But he is going to tell us, he's going to dive in and, and tell us, you said that the, the building a book, building that book was a lot, not as difficult as most people make it seem. Tell us how, how did, what makes it so easy? Sure. So, I mean, obviously the, the content piece is probably the, the one that's probably the hardest just because you got to put that together. You already have that with all of your guests that you've had. You just would have to get that organized in some way that makes sense in a book. Um, but you could totally do that. Um, that may, that's going to take you some time. A lot of people get stuck of, okay, so I got the content. I've written a blog. Um, I've got, you know, if you have a blog, you all, every single one of you that have a blog, have a book um, because you just can repurpose that blog content. If you have a podcast, you could create a book out of that. Um, if you, you know, there's just, you put you every I think everybody has a book in them. But so once you just have that content ready to go, essentially you use Kindle Direct Publishing. It's an Amazon company, kdp.com. You just go to kdp.amazon.com, set up account, totally free to even do this. And you can upload. If you can upload a PDF, you can you can be an author. And now you might want somebody to come in and make it pretty and take your Word document and edit it, proofread it, and to put a cover on it. And you can get virtual assistants to do that for you, or even go on a place like Fiverr or Upwork and have somebody to to make it look nice. Um, but once that's done, it's free to upload it. And you might think, okay, so KDP, it's Kindle. It's only an only an e version for a Kindle reading device, and that's not true. They actually have print on demand as well. So Marcus gets his book done. Um, I go on Amazon and purchase that book. I can either put, purchase the Kindle version and read it electronically, and I don't have to have a Kindle. I can watch, look at it on my phone. You can have an e-reader on your computer and read the e-version. But what if I want to hold that book in my hand? I like getting books. I like writing on them, marking them up. So if I want to do that for his book, I'm going to order one on Amazon. He doesn't have to order thousands of copies and have them in his garage and waiting for me to place that order and ship it to me. Amazon will print that one for me and they will ship it to me. And he never touches it. And he and they're going to cut him a check. Um, I mean, electronic deposit in his bank account. But that can happen all over the world. I have people all over the world buying my books, um, people that I'll never, ever meet. Um, but the fact that it's on Amazon, the eyeballs are already there on Amazon. And it's free to do this. It doesn't cost you anything to have an Amazon KDP account. And you're going to every single month, Amazon's going to deposit that money from I don't know if it's the previous month. They, they hold it like for 30 days, but um, you can make either, I think, 30% or 70% royalties, depending on what you choose. Uh, it's just incredible. It's an easy way for people to uh, build, to be an author. And honestly, guys, you should all have, I think every single buddy, every single person listening, especially if you have a business, you need to have a book because it's still, even though it's super easy to have a book, um, the barrier to entry is way lower than it was 30 years ago. It's still something to say I'm a published author and it's still impressive to people say I wrote I have a book and it would just be an awesome other lead magnet for you, Marcus, and your business and what you're trying to build here. And it's a perfect combination with a podcast, but it's just another way for people to consume your content. Not everybody listens to podcasts, watches podcasts, watches videos. Some people want to read it and it's just another opportunity for people to consume the content that you've already created. I'm doing I'm doing it. Y'all heard it here. I'm sold. Mr. Ryan sold me on the idea. I got to do it now. It's in the air. It's in the atmosphere. It's in the, it's in there. So I got to do it now. So thank you, Mr. Ryan, for breaking that down. That's huge, right? Everybody, um, like you said, the barrier to entry is a lot different. A lot of things have changed in, in, in 2020. A lot of things are different. Um, people are working from home. Kids are learning mm -hmm. from home. Businesses, Ubers, dead, Airbnbs popping. 
a lot of things have changed. And so now we are in a, a time, a shift. Everybody's an entrepreneur now. Everybody. Their grandma's an entrepreneur. The dog got a Twitter page. The dog <laughs> has a YouTube channel and it's trendy, right? So yes, yes. this is the information age and this is the age of tr change. So you're absolutely right. That's that's significant. So thank you for speaking that into me. Thank you for speaking that life into me. Mr. Ryan, tell us. So you, you broke down how the, the uniqueness of getting your own book and the companies that you mentioned on Amazon that you can use. Um, how much does a book cost? Um, so um, as an author, it's free to upload um, and you can set the price any you, if you for your own book, whenever you uh, publish it, you can make it either free or you can I think you can charge hundreds of dollars if you want. Um, most books like my book on Amazon is like eleven ninety nine. Um, the physical book just as this is a small little book, you can read it in probably 45 minutes, but you can set your own price and your uh, your your royalty payment is dependent on the 30 versus 70. It depends on your price range. And I, I don't know those details. You could go to kdp.amazon.com and look up. Like if I choose this price, I'll be eligible for this royalty or that royalty. But you can you can make your book free as a lead magnet. Um, it's kind of hard to do that exactly on Amazon because you don't, you don't know who's buying it. But um, there's ways to draw people back to your site through your book. So you could have like a, you know, inside here on your, your book, when you write it, you could say, you know, for more, for more information or for, you know, uh, for more resources for, you know, special videos. Um, you know, since you're a reader of my book for, you know, special, here's a special resource page and that could link back to your site. And that's something that's in the book. And so that would be a way to kind of get leads from the people that are on Amazon. That's major. That's huge. Right. So in, in, Y'all, this is huge, right? Mr. Ryan kept true to what he said, right? He believes in that passive income stream of having that book, having that other source of income. And he and he was very honest. He was very humble. And he said, hey, it's not much, but it's it's something that he, di he didn't even have to think about. He woke up and had a book, um, new commissions, new royalty payment. And royalty, that book remains published. And, you know, <laughs> Amazon doesn't take him down. Or, um, he will continue to get that indefinitely, in perpetuity. And so that is huge. That's a passive stream of income mm -hmm, that's coming mm -hmm. in. Um, notoriety of being an author, being an established author. Doesn't mean you're the you're number one top bestseller. But the goal for Mr. Ryan, like he mentioned earlier, to help. He wanted to teach. He wanted to educate. The Bible says, thee who serves the most, you, th th your tre where your heart is, that's where your treasure lies. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. service, right? He's a servant. And he gave back. And he's giving back. And that's why he's successful. And that's why the book sells. And that's why people seek him out like I did. Right. I had to get I, I, right. I was just drawn to him, not because um, of it, any popularity or status, but because of who he is in God. And mm -hmm. that's powerful. Thank you for that, Mr. Ryan. That's that's significant. You're welcome. Mr. Ryan, welcome. What's yes, sir. What's your favorite way to give back to your community? I think I know. But what's your favorite oh, way? Man. Um, I feel like I'm already doing that. Like, um, you know, some people think, you know, giving back means, um, you know, that you're doing something that you should give back. Like, you know, business is somehow like not noble in, in and of itself. I feel like I'm already serving my customers. Um, I'm giving even what I'm doing every single day with my membership communities, providing content that allows them to quit their job. That's, uh, that's what I do for business, but it's also giving back. Um, I love to give financially to my church and charitable organizations and ministries that I care about, um, providing jobs for my virtual assistants. Um, I have a, a, a large team of virtual assistants in the Philippines and, um, uh, being able, and they've been hit really hard. This last year is really hard for folks in the Philippines. Uh, they're still on lockdown. Like you know, my folks that live near Manila, they, they can only go out of their house for essential items. Uh, so it's just different there than it is here in the States. And so being able to provide jobs for them that allows them to be at home, they don't have to fight traffic. They make more than they did in their previous jobs and they're able to be home with their families and they have a flexible schedule. They can work when they want. To me, that's, 
that's given back. Um, and, and it serves my, and it's helping my business too. So it's not like, you know, Hey, I got my business over here, excuse me. And then by the way, I'm doing this on the side cause I feel bad about what my business is doing or, you know what, As some companies feel like, you know, we're doing over here and we're, we're taking, taking over here. And so we have to give back to our communities because of what we're doing over here. To me, it's all one thing I'm, I'm helping, I'm serving my business is serving. My business is, um, you know, it, it, I, I partner with God in my business. I get wisdom from him on how to serve people better. Um, so that was a long answer to your question. And that's not one, that's not what you said. You said one thing. That's my favorite thing. Um, it's probably just doing the, just doing the daily stuff in my business. Um, uh, serving my students and, um, you know, serving up content that, uh, is helping them to become uh, financially free. Y'all see that passion, the passion came out y'all. The fire of what he does. That's, that's, that, I love that. That's huge. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give him another clap, y'all. Another praise. That's huge, huge, huge. Thank you for that, Mr. Ryan. How can my audience, how can we uplift you? How can we connect with you? How can, how can we support the movement, the train yeah, yeah. with you, sir? Yeah, well, I'd yeah, say well, um, I have a podcast as well. Uh, it's streams of income, but if you can just go to ryanrieger.com, you posted the link already earlier. That's kind of like the the entrance to my whole business there. Um, you can download, you can actually get the physical copy if you want to. You posted the link on Amazon, but you can get the free ebook by going to ryanrieger.com. I'm um, not have to pay a thing. Um, listening to my podcast, um, but uh, I say just get get on my list, get my book, which you get you on my list. And then uh, if you feel like, you know, there's something that I have that can serve you, help you, um, then uh, you, know, you can get into some of the free groups that we have. You don't have to even pay anything. Uh, it's not about, uh, you know, I don't I'm not looking to make money here. I, I mean, it's, it's my business, but um, it needs to be a win-win. And so if you feel like what I have is a fit for you and we'll, it'll help you move forward. Um, yeah, I'd love to, love to serve you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mr. Ryan, I thank you, sir. I thank you for taking time out of your busy day to come on the Gentleman's Style Podcast you're welcome, Show. You're welcome. I appreciate that so, so much. Um, any last words, any tidbits, any last um, words of advice, anything you wanted to share that I missed? Mm -hmm. I'd say take action, Marcus. You were telling me about your journey and with uh, the podcast and your first episode and how you just um, you know, um, hopefully I'm not telling any of your secrets here, but you, that first guest, you had not had it all planned out and you kind of just, you figured it out. You were, um, you were flying, building the plane as you were flying it. And that's the way I, I do it too. And for some people that like to plan things out, that may not work so well. Um, but at some point you just have to take action. You, uh, you can have the best business plan in the world, but if it is just sitting on your hard drive or it's on a piece of paper and you never take any action, you're never gonna, it's never gonna be anything. You're never gonna serve anybody. It's, you're never gonna change anybody's life with a business plan that's on a piece of paper in front of you. So just take those steps. Yes, it can be scary, but you know what's so cool about the internet? And this is the best opportunity. This is the best time in the history of the world to be an entrepreneur because none of these ideas Marcus, it didn't take, it didn't cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars to start your podcast. You know, like a business, like think about 30 years ago or 50 years ago. If I said, you know, we're going to start a business together, Marcus, we're going to probably have a business plan. We're going to go to the bank. We're going to be talking to our wives and say, honey, uh, you know what? I hope this works because I just had to liquidate our savings account. Um, it's really scary. Um, you're taking a huge risk. None of the stuff that we do, I mean, none of the stuff I teach is risky whatsoever. Um, you can, you can buy products, you can find stuff around your house to sell that costs you nothing. Starting a podcast takes some time, but it really is a very inexpensive venture to get started. Writing a book is free, it takes some time, but it's free. So I would say, just take action guys. Don't, you know, you probably ideas are not the problem. It's implementing those that I see my students have issues with. They, you can come up with a million ideas. But uh, just take that action like Marcus did on his, his podcast and look what it's grown to. Um, and, you know, a year from now, you could have the same thing. You could have a book written. You could have a course created. You could have a, you know, very sizable Amazon business. But you got to take that first step. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Thank you for that. That was that. That was right here. That hit right here. I thank you for that, <laughs> sir. And so y'all we gotta let mr ryan go this man got a business to run he got an empire to build and he has more lives to change and he has more people to serve but i thank you brother thank you for coming on the show i appreciate it very much my honor marcus thanks for having me on my friend appreciate it 
And seriously, and seriously, seriously I, mean, I love business ideas. So if you want to ever chat about how you can, you know, just build out what you've already got doing, what you've got going on, you're building a, ma a list from this podcast, but what can that become? You're obviously with the commercial you got, I can see you're going to monetize the podcast that, that way, but books and courses, all of that could be something that you do. So happy to chat if you ever want to offline and see what else this could become, but just find a, find more ways to serve more people. That's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm on it, sir. I got homework. Y'all, y'all heard it here. I got homework to do. So <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Mr. Bryant. And thank you all, my audience for tuning in to the gentleman style podcast show. I hope this message has served you today. I hope it has helped. Um, it has definitely helped me. And I want to say publicly, Mr. Ryan, don't ever quit. Don't ever stop doing what you're doing. We appreciate you Amen. very, Amen. very much. Absolutely. Good stuff. So Good stuff. Yes, sir. So y'all, like I always say, like I always end every show, take care of your friends, take care of your family, and take care of business. This is Marcus Norman, the Gentleman Style Podcast, and Mr. Ryan Rieger, Passive Income Mogul, signing off. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>